Hello, so welcome to my channel. Ngayon, tuturuan ko kayo or ang topic natin ay parallelogram, sides, and angles. So kung paano kukunin yung unknown side and unknown angle ng parallelogram or kapag ano na siya, may mga variable na paano natin kukunin yung specific na measure ng sides and angles ng parallelogram. First, Siyempre, kailangan natin balikan yung mga karakteristik ba ng parallelogram. Uh, first po niyan ay two pairs of parallel sides. So si AD, itong part na to, parallel po siya and another pair yung itong taas. Parallel po yan, they will never meet. Next, we have two pairs of congruent sides. So aside from parallel, congruent din siya. So ibig sabihin, magkaparehas ng sukat. Kung halimbawa, five to, five din yung kabila. Okay. And then, number three, diagonals bisect each other. Yung diagonals po, yung draw yan, dinadraw sa loob nung, parale, nung kahit anong polygon. So, ang diagonals natin ay AC at saka BB. And then, binabisect daw nila. Ibig sabihin, kapag yung AC tumama sa DB, uh, maghinahati niyan sa dalawang magkaparehas na sukat. So, itong part na to ay equal sa part na to. And then, yung ito din ay equal dito. Okay? Then, opposite angles are congruent. Ibig sabihin, yung angles po, yung dayan, A and C are congruent or equal yung measure. B and D, angle D and angle B, equal din yung measure. Consecutive angles are supplementary. Pag sinabing consecutive, magkasunod. So, halimbawa, A and B, pag pinag-plus mo, 180. B and C, pag pinag-plus mo, 180. Then, C and D, pinag-plus mo, 180. And lastly, DNA pag pinag-plus mo ay 180. And then yung topic natin, magpo-focus tayo dito sa tatlong karakteristik na binilugan ko. So we're going to apply those characteristics sa pagsusold ng sides and angles ng, ng parallelogram. So let's start. Find the measures of the angles of parallelogram A, B, C, D. So kung mapapansin nyo, Ang angle B ay 3x plus 22 and angle D is 5x minus 10. So walang specific na measurement na binigay. So we have to apply the rule or the characteristic wherein opposite angles are congruent. So ibig sabihin dapat para siya ng sukat. So kukunin muna natin yung value ng x. To solve for the value of x, ayan, so dahil nga equal sila, congruent yung opposite, so, yung equation natin, magiging 5x minus 10 is equal to 3x plus 22. Kasi nga, equal sila ng sukat, di ba? So, inequal ko lang. Tapos, solve for x, ganito. Kapag meron kayong ganitong case, ang lagi mag adjust sa may variable, yung may mababang numerical, para hindi na kayo magne-negative. Para paglipat niya, di ba, magiging 5x minus 3x. And then, si 22, yung negative 10, kailangan natin ilipat sa kabila. So, magiging plus 10 na. Always remember, pag naglilipat at tumatawid sa equal sign, we have to change the sign. So, magiging 2x is equal to 32. Solve for x, divide by 2. Para mawala to, x is equal to 16. So, dahil meron na tayong value ng, ng x, isa substitute na natin. So, substitute yung x is equal to 16. Doon sa kahit saan dyan, kasi nga equal lang naman. So dahil ano, dahil para sigurado tayo sa dalawa. So 3x plus 22. Substitute natin yung 16, magiging 3 times 16 plus 22. We have 48 plus 22. And the answer is 70 degrees. So ibig sabihin, measure ng angle B ay 70 degrees. Dahil equal sila, dapat 70 din to Try natin. Um, 5x minus 10. Substitute the value of x16, so magiging 5 times 16 minus 10. We have 80 minus 10, and the answer is 70. So measure of angle B is equal to 70. So that's how you get the angle. Next. This time, angle pa rin naman, pero we have to apply the rule or the characteristic where in consecutive angles are supplementary. Kung siya ay na dito, yung opposite, equal, e eh dito, magkasunod. So, ibig sabihin, supplementary. Pag sinabing supplementary, pag pinag-plus mo ay 180. So, we need to solve for the value of x. 
So dahil nga pag pinag plus 180, magiging ganito yung equation natin. 3x plus 13 plus 2x plus 7 is equal to 180. Ibig sabihin, pag pinag plus mo yung dalawang angle, dapat 180. So add lang natin. Or sulat ko lang ng panibago na walang parenthesis. Plus 2x plus 7 is equal to 180. And then, add lang natin yung or combine like terms, yung 3x at 2x, tapos 13 and 7. So, magiging 5x plus 20 is equal to 180. And then, transpose natin sa 20. 5x is equal to 180 minus 20 and 5x is equal to 160. And then, we need to solve for x by dividing both sides by 5 and x is equal to 32. Yan. So, 32 po ang value ng x natin. Now, paano natin kukunin yung angle? O, substitute lang natin. 3x plus 13. So, palit lang natin yung 32. 3 times 32 plus 13. So, 3 times 32, it's 96 plus 13. The answer is 9, 109. So, measure of angle A is 109 degrees. To solve for B, two ways. It's either you subtract 180 or you subtract 109 um, to 180 or substitute lang natin yung value ng x. So 2x plus 7. So we have 2 times 32 plus 7. 2 times 32 is 64 plus 7 and the answer is 71 degrees. So measure of angle B is 71. Try natin pag plusin. 109 plus 71, so 10, 8, 1. So check po. Supplementary. Okay? Next. Side naman tayo. So tapos na tayo sa angle, we need to solve for the measure of the side of the parallelogram. And we need to apply the characteristic where in two pairs of opposite congruent sides. So si 3x at si x plus 27 equal po sila ng sukat. So, we need to solve for the value of x. Itong x na to, sukat to ng BC, hindi naman pwedeng i-equate sa dalawa kasi hindi naman po sila opposite. So, susolve na lang natin yung value ng x. Now, dahil equal, so 3x plus 3 plus x, oh sorry, equals x plus 27. And then, dahil mag adjust yung x, lipat siya sa kabila, so magiging 3x minus x um, equals 27, and then si positive 3, when transpose, magiging minus 3 na. So, magiging 2x is equal to 24. Then, divide both sides by 2. x is 12. So, kung x is 12, 12 na to, yung sukat ng BC. Okay, find the measure of the side. So, BC, automatic, is equal to 12. Ito na yun eh. And then, substitute lang natin. 3x plus 3, substitute natin yung 12, 3 times 12 plus 3, um, 36 plus 3, and that's 39. So, ibig sabihin, ang sukat ng AB, segment AB, is equal to 39 units. So, tingnan natin kung 39 din ba pag BC ang kukunin natin. So, segment BC is equal to X plus 27. Substitute lang natin yung 12, ano, tama yung 12, 12 plus 27, the answer is 39. So, BC is also 39. Ayan. 39, 39 dahil congruent. Then, AD is also 12 kasi opposite sides are congruent. So, that's how you get the value of X and the measure of the sides and lengths of a parallelogram. So, I hope natuto kayo and do not forget to subscribe kung bago kayo sa channel ko. And my channel is... Solve math like a boss. Thank you.